here we are, the Three Musketeers, at the start of another adventure. Fumbling about. The faff has already started. Fumbling, fumble, fumble. We've got a problem. Dad's e-bike is not working. We've done precisely about two or three miles and it's buggered, dribble cycle crap. So we're going back to the bike hire shop to see if we can dump that bike and get a hire bike for Dad. Not quite sure how it's gonna work out, but it's a long way to hire a bike for, but we'll see. Okay, we'll have an update soon. So, Dad's Ribble e-bike is basically rubble. The plan is to try and hire another e-bike from a Tynemouth e-bike hire place. But not a Ribble. But not a Ribble. So we're cycling to Blythe tonight and we will come back to Tynemouth tomorrow and try and get Dad a hire bike to finish the tour. It's a great plan. Will it work? to be continued. The route. The route is 60 meters to your right. Turn slightly left. like a proper bar. They're very difficult to film and push a bike, a heavy bike. Guess it's time I wake up, this is seven years old. We've been seven years cold and nights. Time for summer. It's nice and flat. Nice and flat, yeah. It's very flat. Walls came down, walls that were holding us Just to get a quick glimpse. They've been holding us in without a place to call. Here comes the media, man. Yes, please, thank you, man. And the sun burning down in the fire. Taking us to the edge of home. Keep going! Where we are, we're on the afternoon of day two. So we arrived in Newcastle yesterday lunchtime. I got in on the train at one o'clock. Dad and Tony got there at two. Plan was for the afternoon of day one yesterday to cycle 22 miles out from Newcastle station along the Tyne to Tyne Mouth and then up the coast of Blythe. That worked fine apart from what didn't work fine was Dad's bike. Electrics on his bike, pretty much buggered. You'll know that by now because of the video of course. So this morning we phoned, um, oh I forgot the name of them, Ride Electric in Tyne Mouth. Brilliant. They helped us out, they hired us a, a hybrid e-bike for dad, kept his bike, and um, we're on the road. Um, very nice guy took us in a big minibus taxi from our digs in Blythe down to Tynemouth. We picked wow. up the hybrid bike and um, brought us back to Blythe and we started from there. So we've been bashing on up the coast where we're staying tonight at Dunstanborough Castle Hotel. So the coast has been spectacular. The coastline along here has been Right the way from Tynemouth, really. Beautiful beaches, lovely kind of northeast seaside coastal resorts that you just would not think of going, but passing through on a bike has been absolutely brilliant. And um, 
we've probably got another hour or so cycling until we get to the hotel tonight. So we're just about to come into Amble now. Maybe we'll get coffee, maybe not. It's only been about an hour since we've had lunch, so that might be a bit of a, a skive. So we'll probably keep going. And um, there will be more updates probably tomorrow and the day after. Okay. This is one of my pet hates. Look, so, a coffee, a latte in one of these poxy glasses. Can't be doing with it anyway. Too late, ordered it without asking. Is it here? Dunstanborough Castle Hotel. So you see what I've been telling It's nothing like it seems. It's what I've been telling you. Oh, you'd learn. So we left Dunstanborough Castle Hotel this morning at just before 10 o'clock. Not an early start, but uh, I think we've got 50 to do today, so starting at 10, that should be fine. But straight into a headwind. Beautiful sunshine though, of course, so I'd rather take the headwind than the rain as long as it's not too strong a headwind. Today we're heading to um, Eymouth, so we're passing through sea houses, Bamborough, and then on up the coast to Berwick, through Berwick, and then on a little bit further up to Eymouth and then we're stopping there tonight and then on to Edinburgh tomorrow. Come on Tony, have a go, move it. You are heading in the wrong direction. You are back on the route, on the track, then, in 60 meters turn around. Cheers. Cheers. Honestly, we're having a great time. We are, obviously, yeah. Just for the video. <laughs> Not much sleep, headwind. <laughs> it's Thursday morning, we're climbing out of Eymouth. Had a really good stop last night, the guest house. The Home Arms guest house on the uh, shorefront in Eymouth was really good. Nice big rooms, very comfortable, great breakfast, very friendly hosts. Just what we needed, a bit of a sanctuary after a hard day yesterday. It's gone all grey and gloomy today but the wind has stopped, thank goodness. We've got 54 miles to get to Edinburgh the coast to Dunbar and then inland to Haddington and through to Edinburgh and, um, and then tonight hopefully Chinese with Terry. That'd be good.
Tony's behind me. Possibly see him. Dad's up front. Up there. Strongest climber, which is amazing for 76. Well done, Dad. And uh, more later. Look at him go! <laughs> you ready for a coffee and a piece of cake? No? Want to carry on? I, I heard there's been some complaints. Road ahead closed. Christ. Ba, ba, ba. Is it day four already? I have no idea, I just made it up. So we've come down this road, the A92, and there is a cycle path all the way along. And then we hit this section of dual carriageway, which we come down for half a mile. And um, there's a cycle path, cycle path all the way down until you get to here. And the cycle path here, that's a farm road up there. The cycle path just stops in the middle of nowhere. So now, I guess whoever put this cycle path in expected us just to cycle down that dual carriageway. Isn't this why cycling in the UK is an absolute death trap? Yeah, we don't want to go down there. Total do utter disgrace. Look at that cycle path all the way down there, and then we get to here and it just stops. So you have to go on the dual carriageway. Crap. Absolute crap. 
So we're going to turn around. GoPro stop capture. Newton of Falkland, but not Falkland. Falkland Palace. You need to come, it's absolutely stunning. update. Ah. Ah. Start the turn there. We've just come out of Okhtamukhti up, up over the hill, oh, northerly oh, direction oh, towards Newborough. Yeah. So yeah. we've just reached a junction in the road and we're yeah. trying to figure out, I think we go left, but we're just uh, having a look at the map, see what's going on. Newborough, down, down to the coast at Newborough and then along the coast towards the Tay Bridge and <laughs> over into Dundee. At the no, good, thanks. Ooh, the world's feeling like a good place. Can I cycle up here one-handed? I wonder if you can see that, it's maybe... Going down. Some more. 18 miles to our growth. Apparently the scenery gets a bit better. Okay, just to let you know, it's really raining now. Out of Dundee. Heading along a very nice cycle path. Into a headwind, maybe 10 miles an hour, maybe more actually. But, uh, at least it's flat and it's not cold. Well, just heads down and get to our broth. Yeah, not much more for it. Okay, GoPro, stop capture. Apparently the forecast for rain died, what do you think? Rain, Tony? Think there's any rain forecast? No. No. It's only on this <laughs> This way. Here we are. We've arrived. Our broth Angus Lodge, 37 Hill Street. Just leaving our broth after an interesting night. Not the greatest digs in the world. Um, yeah, less said about that the better, perhaps, but um, hopefully tonight it's going to be a lot nicer. We're in Stonehaven tonight, so just uh, 40 miles up the coast. Bit of a headwind, not too bad though, not too bad. And some beautiful scenery. Cheers. 
So that was our last night, Stonehaven, really good night. And um, we're now, we've climbed out of town, heading into the countryside. <laughs> Big climb over the slug today, and then down into Bankery. Short day though, 15 miles, and then that's us done. Still feeling good, broken a few things along the way, lost a few things, but um, found a few memories. So it's a fair trade. I'm gonna have to stop now because it's climbing time. Today. 